Hello everyone, I'm Brandon Marcel. This is Joel A. Erickson. It's uh, bye week Tuesday, but we talked to Rhett Lashley a little bit about offense, obviously, mm -hmm. and Nick Marshall mostly because of his performance Saturday. 10 of 19 passing wasn't that great one of his best performance, but it also wasn't his worst as some people are trying to maybe believe here late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, both Gus Malzahn and Rhett Lashley said there's a lot of contributing factors. When you go back and watch the film of the game, live it doesn't always, you don't always focus in on stuff the way you do when you go back and watch it. I went back and watched it, obviously by now, you know, I do the film thing. Uh, there was one play, Tony Stevens came out of his break and basically just like slowed up and it, it was a timing route, impossible to work. Uh, there was miscommunication with the keel, um, kind of looked like he ran the wrong route. Um, or didn't adjust when he should have. And then it, the throw to CJ, uh, you don't see it live, but he's getting ready to step in and throw the ball, and a guy comes flying through, and uh, he kind of just has to, he didn't even really get to take a full step and just kind of flicked it just to get it out. So uh, a couple of protection breakdowns, Melvin Ray had two drop passes. When you start looking at it, it looks a lot different than it did maybe when you first walked away from the game. Yeah, and it, here's the thing, we've talked about this as well. Nick Marshall comes out big in the big games. He always has his best performances then. Of course, he had those four fourth quarter comebacks last season. We all know about that. And when, he, when these big games come along, he always steps up. And Kansas State next week, next Thursday, is huge for him personally, I'm sure, because he was recruited by Kansas State. And at some point there in the process, it was between Kansas State and Auburn before he picked Auburn to be closer to home. So uh, a little bit of motivation going there. And here's the other thing. They get an extra week, a few days to work on things. And this coaching staff has proven in the past that once they have this early season bye week, they adjust, they find their strengths, and they always come out a little bit better. And then they, uh, that offensive machine they've got starts rolling downhill the rest of the way. Look for the return of Sammy Coates, too. Uh, obviously, that's a guy that Nick's very, very comfortable with, obviously the most comfortable with from yeah. last year. So. Uh, look for him to get, coming back uh, to put a little different element to the offense. Uh, obviously, they've got guys who can go deep, but nobody really takes the top off of the defense quite like Coates does. Third in the country last year in yeah. yards per reception. Uh, so that's Nick. We talked to, like Brandon said, we talked to Rhett today about offense, except we were in the defensive meeting room. Very confusing. Uh, and uh, we'll have more uh, coming up soon on third down conversions at AL.com.